Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting a lot of bulbs. I'll probably have several uh, bulb videos upcoming. I have lots and lots of tulips, daffodils, crocus, alliums, hyacinths, and more uh, to go in the ground uh, pretty quickly. Uh, all of these bulbs came from color blends. I put up a video a couple months back uh, actually showing all the ones that I was going to get in for this year and beautiful photos along with that. And here they are. Uh, most, most of the ones that needed to be cold treated, like the tulips, have been cold treated already. They did that for me, which is a nice uh, feature. Probably still bulbs available right now at some of the garden centers if you're uh, if you're interested, and, and it may be discounted uh, at this point, it is definitely time to put them in the ground. Unless you're planting tulips in the south, which they would probably, if you bought them now, you'd need to put them in the refrigerator, give them a little bit of cold treatment, and then put them into the ground. Uh, I'm gonna be planting 200 uh, dawn to dust tulips at the beginning of this video. Uh, these are beautiful. There's 100 in each of these bags. Uh, a few weeks back, I put in a pansy bed. Uh, that's behind where the camera is right now and left some spaces for these tulip bulbs. I have a drill um, with a bulb planting uh, drill bit on it or an auger bit on it. It's not specifically for bulbs, it's for anything that's this size. But this, this makes very quick work of digging the holes for your bulbs. Uh, in this particular case, I just left some open spaces over there and I'm just going to use my trenching shovel pull some of the soil out and I'm putting like clusters of seven or nine bulbs in each of those holes. And they're gonna be um, about five inch, about five, in, five inches down is the appropriate depth uh, for these tulips. Uh, this um, dawn to dusk mix is really, really beautiful. Um, I highly recommend the tulip mixes from Color Blends because they go through the, the process of making sure that they're putting ones together that not only get to the same height, which is super important, but also um, bloom at the same time. So they're not putting the early ones with the late ones and, and that kind of thing. So the mixes are fantastic that way. So that's the first section is 200 dawn to dust going into that uh, annual bed. So as you can see, while I'm planting this morning, I've gotten Stephanie from the other side of the camera to this side of the camera to help me install these tulip bulbs because I have thousands of bulbs to put into the ground. Uh, this bed looks awful this morning because it's 26 degrees outside. The pansies are all like this this morning. Uh, by this afternoon, it's supposed to be up in the 50s and, uh, and these will be a little more perky, but shooting it while I can. Uh, there's uh, 10 uh, bulbs in each of these holes and this is a prepped annual bed. That's where all of my tulips are going because I treat them as annuals. Uh, there actually were a couple tulips from last year still alive in here, so it'll be interesting how many of those uh, actually come back. What we tend to get here is if they do come back the next year, they're slightly less vigorous. They're definitely not as uniform uh, as they would be. But that was it, just digging a hole down to about five inches, setting those bulbs, pointy end up, super careful. You know, you don't need to remove the paper. Some people always ask me about the paper. Some will have paper on them, some won't. It doesn't matter. Put the pointy end up, five inches down, cover them up. Squirrels could be an issue. Uh, this soil is so light and fluffy here that it would be super easy for them to get, get these out. If I see any squirrel activity, I will probably put some sort of frost protection blanket on it um, until the soil settles back down a bit uh, and that would be helpful. Or I could put some sort of wire mesh. I could put an upside down container. Lots of lots of things, Any anything you can do just to keep them from getting in here because they do love tulip bulbs. You do want to pick a sunny location for your tulips. That's kind of important. The further south you are though, a little afternoon shade would be super helpful uh, to, to have the flowers last a little longer. Sometimes here in the south, the temperatures can go from, you know, what a, our version of winter, which isn't that cold, to really, really warm one afternoon and it can burn them out pretty quick. So if you have a spot where by maybe three o'clock they're in the shade, that's perfect, but they do need a lot of sun up until that point. Uh, this spot, uh, I hadn't really done a lot of digging here before. There was some African basil here during the summer. The pollinators absolutely loved. Uh, there's 75 sane or san uh, tulips here. I'm guessing it's French. Uh, 
there's some roots under here from the maple that was over here. If you've been following the channel at all, there's a big maple that was taken down, a diseased maple that was taken down. There's still roots everywhere from it. Uh, and this spot had some in it. Wasn't able to get down to the five inch depth that I would really like. So it's, they're about three inches down uh, under the soil and I've got some mulch and you can actually use, you need, do include your mulch uh, in your depth total. And so uh, I'll, what I'll do is come in here and put a couple inches of uh, hardwood mulch over the top of this. And then they're at the proper depth. There are some uh, Bud Light tulips going in here. This is one I had last year. If you guys have been following my channel, or you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, Bud Light was one of my absolute favorites. Uh, just a fantastic uh, yellow um, tulip. The, uh, you saw the ones go into the uh, annual bed. You see my shadows are getting long out here. This is uh, the front of this house faces east and the sun is rising uh, pretty quickly. I'm sure these pansies will be happy <laughs> when they're not uh, frozen solid. And then uh, just showing you guys, there's going to be 75 uh, uh, Akabano tulips going around this, uh, this rock uh, space and these uh, little conifer garden here on the corner. So 100 uh, Tang Dynasty tulips went in uh, around uh, the grass area, some over here by some azaleas, some over here by the, uh, the porch. One thing I wanted to show real quickly here is this, this, this soil in this area, I always talk about clay, 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 clay. And if we go down here to the bottom of this hole, you can see, you can see the red clay uh, that's down here. This isn't the worst spot in the in the yard by any stretch of the imagination, but you can see it down here. But what I want, to, what I want you to notice is how easy it actually was for me to dig uh, this trench. Several things have happened in the last, I think this project, from the compost going down in the backyard, this is about a 21 month, uh, 21 months since compost went down on, on this. And so put compost on it, then put wood chips on it, uh, probably went, I don't know how many months before then regular triple shredded hardwood ended up going on top of it and then plants had been planted and this soil has completely changed from the top down and now instead of swinging a pickaxe out here you know i'm able to dig easily i don't put a lot of foot traffic in the beds there are paths here that there are foot traffic on but the beds don't get a lot of foot traffic you'll see some foot traffic when i'm planting annuals and when i'm planting these bulbs today but for the most part i keep the foot traffic out and that compost, those wood chips, and remulching every time has completely changed this soil. So this is the last, this Akabanos are the last of the tulips uh, that are going in. Uh, and I think, I don't know, there's probably 600 tulips have gone in uh, this morning. Got lots of other varieties of bulbs that'll be in the uh, upcoming uh, videos. Uh, this is just gonna be a nice, nice little curved uh, swath of these and one, one additional thing here is I am disturbing these beds and I'm bringing this soil, uh, this clay up to the top. And so I, I will put a little mulch. If I don't put a little mulch cap on top of this, I'm bringing all these weed seeds up to the top. This will just be solid weeds <laughs> by spring if I don't put some mulch on it or leaves. Leaves are completely fine, but something to prevent all of these weed seeds that I've just you know brought up to the top from, uh, from coming up. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm, Tulips go in, pointy end up, about five inches down. Buy quality tulips because for most people watching, they're going to be annuals. Even if they come back for you in, in colder areas, they don't tend to come back as uniform from year to year. And so for me, they'd be annuals pretty much no matter where, um, no matter where I live. So buying a quality bulb uh, seems like it makes the most sense. Uh, and so... Like I say, all these came from color blends. All of them are pointy end up. <laughs> and I'm really careful, this is something I haven't said, I'm really careful to drop the soil straight down on them so that I don't, uh, so that I don't knock the, uh, the bulbs over to the side uh, initially. Once I get them a little bit covered, then I can just rake it in uh, from there. And then a couple other, th a couple other quick points. Uh, one is I just tamp this down uh, just a bit. I'm not stomping it, stomping it, stomping it, but I am tamping it down a bit. And then I'm going to water 
which uh, I just want to settle some of the air uh, that's in this trench out. You'll be surprised. You dig up a tulip bulb in three weeks after you put it in the ground, there's a, there's, it'll be rooted out already. Uh, they actually root in pretty quickly. No fertilizer going in the hole. These bulbs have everything they need when you receive them for what they're going to do for next year. All of my perennial bulbs will get fertilized when I fertilized everything uh, in uh, February. I basically fertilized the entire garden uh, in February and all the bulbs get fertilized then. But these bulbs don't need anything when they're going in the ground. Thank you guys for following along and you'll see the rest of the uh, bulb videos very soon.